Good evening uh, or afternoon, <laughs> everyone. Welcome to Monida stuff. And today is not Saturday. Today is actually Sunday. I just had to. I kind of feel it's all a bit different now because it's Sunday and there's still sun outside. But anyway, we moved Monida stuff to a Sunday so that maybe more of you can join if you're interested or bored on a Sunday afternoon and need a bit of a kick in the ass <laughs> or whatever it is that you get from watching my stream <laughs> so um we have a new month that means we have a new theme and this month's <laughs> theme is rocket at launch which means i'm going to guide you through the process of launching, at least give you some insights on what you probably could need if you actually do launch something um, eventually, which I hope all of you do or all of us do. <laughs> so um, just to remind you who I am, I'm Moni. I'm the really geeky person in charge at MoniRoxYourSocks.com and I am the front woman at Moni Does Stuff with my cute little sidekick. Oh. On this side <laughs> Yoshi who is not here at the moment thanks for joining me today all of you people that I love and adore <laughs> so what's going on today it's rocket and launch and freebie creation stuff so I'm going to tell you a bit why do you even need a freebie um, what types of freebies are there and I'm going to show you a bit more uh, about one nice nice thing that I, I enjoyed pretty much which is how to set up a quiz um, so in general I am going to show you a few examples of actual freebies at the moment and firsthand I'm going to hop over to um, Kimra Luna because Kimra Luna does have has a shitload of freebies available on her website. Her website is freedomhackers.com and as you can see it's already pretty fun if you go on here you can, because you can actually pick what kind of thing you want to have here. Do you want to have a ship? What kind of... What, what, how does, should the ship look like? And then you can choose your character um, which is pretty awesome. I find that super... Uh, that amuses me. Like I like playing around like that. So and yes she has... <laughs> She has a rocket, she has all of the crazy things and she's like really super personal on brand. So you can um, already enter your email address here at the top and you can choose your character and click start. And I'm going to use the green haired woman with the cute car now because I can. And as you can see she uh, wants to have my email address already. So yeah, damn it. But I don't want to do this right now. Because I know that when I click on freebies, um, it works also. So why do we even need a freebie? And why do I need this freebie thing when I'm talking about launching? Um, so the thing is that you want to build an audience when you work online. And you need a lot of people that actually at least know who you are um, to eventually sell them stuff. Because it's not like... Uh, brick and mortar business where you just say oh I'm going to need this and I go there and and I buy this because um, people don't come into outdoors just outdoor just like that um, they need to get to know you and they need to know who you are and not, nobody is doing things for free at the moment anymore <laughs> so the important thing is that you give them something that shows them what you're capable of that shows them what you're all about um, and that is like an introduction to who you are and the services that you offer so especially when you launch something um, or when you want to launch something in the future is important to um, create these people and find these people that you can then launch stuff to so by building an awesome freebie and spreading it out to the world you already get a lot of people um, into your business um, that are interested in what you actually do and in what you what you offer um, so as you can see, for example, Kimra Luna offers like so many, so much stuff. It's ridiculous. Like how to grow your list of raving fans, uh, uh, to a guide for course creators. So you can click this. Of course, 
you have to give your email address to her or whatever um, in order to get that thing um, because what doesn't make a lot of sense otherwise because you will spread all your stuff and yeah no nobody gains anything from it um, so that's a pretty awesome way of, of, of doing this and it's of course immensely advanced because of all the programming and stuff that's going on there another example is the middle finger project um, so she's also a pretty awesome woman um, who's not giving a fuck <laughs> and um, she in exchange for your email address um, for example you get stuff like um, she will send you some creative ideas ideas or if you scroll a bit further down you get an awesome desktop wall free desktop wallpaper if you give her your email address um, uh, <laughs> so um, this is also where like a lot of pop-ups come into place so that people are constantly reminded of the things that you are actually offering them uh, and for example she has is probably going to launch the the middle finger project in general because she's offering you see a challenge is also something that you can use it's like a method how you can then um, launch your things so you have a certain amount of days that you engage people in a certain topic to then at the end of the challenge uh, offer them something amazing to keep on working with you so um, these are just a few things a few ways um, how you can actually um, create a freebie or different ways of freebies so you can offer them as I said she's offering Facebook um, uh, desktop wallpapers <laughs> for example other people like Kim Raluna offer um, free PDF workbooks so this is something that you can do so you can prepare some content go into Canva um, whoops yeah go to back to Canva create your PDF uh, and then send it out to people after you um, gathered your email address. What I personally find pretty um, pretty interesting is the is if you actually create um, a quiz upfront for people to figure out um, yeah to ask them a bunch of questions to then, um, give them the opportunity to um, yeah ask them a bunch of questions and then give them results to according to those questions which is pretty um, a nice thing to do because especially when people are already really confused and don't really know what kind of t topic you're talking about and maybe are generally really overwhelmed and like quizzes are really something fun and and engaging and entertaining um, to do because who doesn't like a, a, a funny quiz I mean I enjoy quizzes how about you yes Emma loves quizzes too so um, I I was expecting that to be honest <laughs> yeah. ask her a bunch of questions especially ones with where she can like write whatever she wants to write <laughs> So amazing. Um, there are different ways of actually creating a quiz. Um, one of them is if you go to brandquiz.io. That's a way. Of, uh, that's one platform that you can use. There are of course a few others. For example, um, lead quizzes. That's not a free. There is nothing free free available for lead quizzes. Um, as you can see, that's like sixteen dollars per month to actually um, create the quizzes. Or also something that's possible. It's possible to create quizzes with type form, but also not on the free plan. At least not when you want to have wanted to have an outcome. Um, so you can. They're all all the free basic plans are often um, limited to a certain amount of responses per month. So if you have if you start becoming really really popular and have a lot of people answering your quiz because it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> then um, you probably have to upgrade anyway. Um, so as you can see, um, Typeform does offer this quiz version, um, but also not on the free plan. But Brand Quiz does. And that's why I'm going to show you um, how to set up a Brand Quiz quiz. <laughs> so let's just log in because I already have an account set up and ready. Uh, and that's um, already a quiz that I started to set up. Um, 
which I will show you in the end. Um, it's not entirely finished, but I did my best. I realized while I was doing it that I lack. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> who doesn't want an outcome? You need an outcome. So especially, um, yeah, whatever. So anyway, I we will going to create uh, to create a new quiz, and um, you can choose your project type when you. Let's go just back to projects because I think it was too quick. Here on the right hand side here it says create new. That's what we're clicking, obviously. And then you can already pick what you want to do. You want to have a personality test um, or a quiz or a survey or a lead page. And we're going to check out the quiz function. And they, have got, they offer some different templates that you can you can use if you oh that's a that's a good one i'm going to pick that technology quiz one because um i think i'm going to enjoy this you can preview pre preview that one and then you can see what it would actually look like so you you can set up the background and the, the copy and click on start and then you can who found the Apple com who founded the Apple computer that's a tough one i think that's Steve Jobs oh that's amazing Oh, that's cool. Uh, I haven't even tried out the the, the, the answer thing there, but um, let's go to next. So as you can see, that is something that you can um, create for yourself with questions according to what you are offering. So um, <laughs> I have to feel the need to finish this now, but I can't. So <laughs> that's an operating system. <laughs> I have to do that later again. Okay, if you wanted to use the template as you as you saw, let's just preview it here again. You can use this template actually um, if you like how it is set up and you can check out the mobile version too here if you switch between those two screens. Um, or you can just um, click through the questions um, with the arrows at the top here, back and forth. Um, so if you like how this quiz is set up and if you like the general design, you can... <laughs> You can click uh, on use template, but I'm not going to do that now because um, we want to create something that might be more on brand. So you can start from scratch as well. Um, that's what we're doing now. <coughs> you give that, excuse me, you give that project the name. So that's um, fancy live stream quiz. And you can... Um, we start editing now. So um, that's generally how it um, how it presents itself. Um, on the left hand side, you can see how many questions you have. So that's the first page. Uh, you can start and create the first page and then keep adding pages according to how many questions you have, which will be probably 5,000 uh, 5, if Emma is doing one. <laughs> but we um, uh, keep it a bit under maybe just a few pages. So um, there is the tab that says um, content items. So you can see whatever, there are a lot of things that you can actually um, drag and just drag and drop um, to the to the area. Oh, I wanted to point with my fingers again. <laughs> Sometimes it's just ridiculous. Um, so you can just drag and drop it over here. And there it automatically opens up um, how you can, uh, whatever you can edit in that particular uh, content item. So for example, we say this could be the question, what, what fancy live stream quiz, what do you think, do you think of live streams? Are you a bad ass live stream person? And for real? Um, so that's for, <laughs> and you can just, a drag and drop more stuff over here um, and and add whatever you want to add um, to as much as you want. What you cannot do, and that's a bit sad, is you can only um, uh, add one content item under the other one, below the other one, but not on the right or left hand side, which is a bit sad. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot make a, a quiz with, with 5,000 questions now. <laughs> so I'm going to keep uh, keep it small, okay? <laughs> I, 
I can create a really big quiz for you later on if I can come up with all the questions. I had a hard time coming up with a few that I had on my own quiz and there are still way too little questions. But anyway, um, so you can drag and drop everything you want to drag and drop right um, over here and uh, or click on a design tab where you can in general um, um, add all the design features. So you can add a, a, an image in the background. This is going to be a bit problematic because I don't know what kind of picture I have available. Is that a nice one? Oh, <laughs> uh, let me think. Hmm, does look like, let's take that one because that's nice. Yes, so you can upload images or oh, that file is too big. As you can see, it needs to be smaller than three megabytes. If one could read, that would be amazing, but oh, oh, I can't. <laughs> but as you can just drag and is that small enough? Yes, that's small enough. Let's just use this one. Um, it's uploading. Ooh, that's nice too. Um, and you can add whatever image you want to add in the background. And um, in particular, that wide area right here is uh, what's, con what, what's called the content background. So you can just make the transparency a bit less or more depending on how, what kind of color your background image is. And you can align it to the top or have it aligned to the center. <laughs> I always have a picture of Yoshi available, but not right now because he actually does have a really big egghead at the moment because, yeah, <laughs> the groomer did a good job. Um, so, yeah, um, so if you want to go to the next page, you can drag over a, a, a button here uh, and have it next, uh, call it next and then tell it what you uh, want it to do. So you can have one button to move forward, one button to move back, or you can add like a custom web address if you want to um, send people to a specific place. So you can just add all the questions that you have. There are two different versions. For example, the image answer where you can upload an image um, and have people pick whatever image you have um, in uh, together with the text or you can add a multiple choice question here too. So you can, if you click on the left hand side, um, see the left hand side, you can see this is a quiz where there is there are cor cor correct answers or wrong answers. Um, and you can always add a new one here and give it a name. And if it's something like a quiz as in you want to get know what people no, like the, the tech quiz we had, then that's the one um, you want to pick. Pick. Um, there you can decide if you actually want this next button or if you want to, um, uh, when they click the right answer that they're automatically directed to the next page, this is where you can choose that too. And you can um, design, like pick whatever font you want to have for that one. Um, and what it would look like if we click preview, what it would look like if the question is actually wrong, um, or right. Or if we, ch if we've chosen, chosen one. Um, so that's the thank you page where you come to. I think I've just chose the wrong type of quiz because, um, that's just, I can show you the outcome here as it seems. So um, this is a quiz where you can just ask people um, and see if they have a knowledge of something. What I've created with my, um, with my what tool person quiz you are. I'm editing a live project. I'm, yes, I know. It's because I've already published this one. So if you go to morningrocksyoursocks.com forward slash quiz, that's where you would actually um, be able to take this quiz. Um, but as you can see here, I have, um, there are more pages on the, on the bottom right here because those are all the outcomes that are available. So um, I'm going to preview that quiz with you together now. So I've set this one up and you click on the next button and then you can choose your answers right here. 
um, and then you have to click on the next button again and then again that's the badly loading yes now it finally loaded um, you can choose that's the image question for example you can just choose whatever you want here and click on it and then click on next in the button below same thing here um, click on next and then of course I want to for you to get the answer I want your email address because that is how I am going to um, gather your information before you actually get yours that's pretty mean I could do it afterwards and if I would really um, want uh, people on my email list that are warmer then I would probably give away the information for free because the people who sign up afterwards are probably more interested in my stuff uh, in, in actually what I want to what I'm doing or what I'm selling than those who just have to sign up to in order to get the information so that might be a good idea to move that after the uh, to to the outcomes later on so I'm just adding random information right here um, you can have them choose if you want to them to subscribe to your newsletter and then click on next and then <laughs> I didn't read the answer, so that's obviously very wrong. <laughs> um, what I prepared is a list of tools, like quick tools that you could um, use um, according to the answers you gave. Um, of course, that's not an entirely perfectly finished thing because I'm still working on it. But in the first draft, it works. <laughs> and I can add to that as I go. Um so what did so at the so for example so how this works is let's go to a page with the questions so you can you create the multiple choice question here and then you have to choose what kind of answer has what type of outcome because you the the tool needs to calculate what type of answers you gave the most so you have to tell it um, if you if the, if you pick this answer, that's that kind of outcome, and you can add like a shit ton of questions as you can see here. I only have three for now. I'm really sorry. <laughs> uh, Emma, seriously, did you just pause to take that quiz? I was thinking you would do that to be honest. Um, so as you can see, there are like um, you can add a lot of more a lot more questions here. Um, Oh, and you can uh, on the right hand side these are the outcomes that I created um, and you can of course add more and more outcomes here too so that's the next outcome um, that you because there are like so many more versions of more outcomes possible um, for what I am offering here with this quiz so, but for now there are only one two three four five um, so but when I looked through my things, I knew I saw that there are like way more available. Um, so that's a way of giving people a more like structured um, way to not overwhelm them with my ebook. For example, if some people are just if it's too much for people, that's like a quick way for them to get some some information and get some. Um, knowledge from you and and see what kind of expertise you're having uh, you have um, and then um, in exchange they will give you your email address and you can I mean you can do a, everything everything from from there for example I only add added like four tools on this page if I wanted to I could just send them to a separate I could maybe po uh, add a link there add a button here and say um, download um, all the tools that are only um, make sense for this category for category for example so if I know that my um, that the person who um, who got this result uh, is the audio video person um, then I can just create a, an ebook that is more targeted to that person and that person doesn't get information about like 50,000 other things that <laughs> might not be of interest at all so it's already more targeted and it makes it more easier for people to actually engage with you because um, that's 
probably also important to them considering how much noise is always everywhere online. Yeah, that was actually my way of um, showing you how quizzes work. I hope it helped you a little bit and I hope you maybe got an idea of um, what you could offer to people. So if you want to take this quiz, you can go to mooneyrocksyoursocks.com forward slash quiz. If you want to have a chat with Yoshi, that's still an option, you know. You can go to mooneyrocksyoursocks.com forward slash Yoshi, Y-O-S-H-I, just so you know, it's a Japanese name, it's nothing um, weird. And um, if you want to know anything or whatever it is that I'm doing, you can go to moneyrocksyoursocks.com, that's my page with all my services. Or you can go and check out my blog at moneydustuff.com and my YouTube channel, but you're on Facebook anyway, so um, you see my stuff. So we will see each other again next week when actually Moni Dustoff is on the road. So I will stream to you from a totally different location, which is still high uh, top secret. Is it? <laughs> um, and uh, Moni Dustoff on tour. Maybe you follow my page uh, or um, check out my story stuff, message story stuff, because I will probably post a bit of what's going on. So, see you again next Sunday on two, at 2pm, two 2pm uh, 2 German time, Austrian time, whatever time, uh, and I forgot what topic we have next week, but you will be updated um, when you follow my page. Thanks for tuning in today, and have an amazing rest of your Sunday, and I hope you chill and don't work too much. See you soon, people, and have a great rest of your evening. See ya and goodbye. <laughs>